Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn what is magnetic hysteresis, hysteresis loop and its applications. What is hysteresis? The lagging of the magnetic induction, it is noted as B of the material behind the applied magnetic field denoted as H is called hysteresis. Here lagging means retain or simply we can say stay or residual nature. There are two magnetic fields are involved. The first one is induced magnetic field other name is magnetic induction which is denoted by the letter capital B. This is nothing but becoming magnet by means of external magnetic field. And the second one is applied magnetic field denoted as capital H. This is the external magnetic field given to other material to become a magnet. Simply we can easy to remember this capital B is output, capital H is input. The following animation will explain what is H and B quickly. Let us consider bar magnet having the magnetic field H. This is applied magnetic field or external magnetic field. On the right hand side, a ferromagnetic material strip for example, steel plate is there. It is not having any kind of magnetic property. Now, when the bar magnet is moving towards the steel plate, the steel plate will become a magnet. This induced magnetic field by the end strip is capital B. Now, the steel plate has become a magnet. Now let us see what is hysteresis loop. For that this animation will help to understand the experimental part along with graph. Here you can see some steel pins and iron strip. On the right hand side to draw a BH curve taking H along x axis and B along y axis. Here H is external magnetic field that means bar magnet magnetic field. Capital B is the magnetic field generated by that ion strip. See the ion strip is moving towards the steel pins since strip is not having magnetic property it does not attract the pins. Now a bar magnet is moving towards the ion strip which is becoming a magnet because the applied magnetic field H is induced some magnetic field inside the ion strip that is magnetic induction B. So, the B is developed by ion strip H is the bar magnet's magnetic field. So, when the bar magnet touches the ion strip all the pins are attracted that is it attains the maximum attraction that is called saturation. It is explained in the BH curve 
as A. H increases, B also increases linearly. At A, H is maximum, B is also maximum. This is saturation. When the bar magnet is moving away from the end strip, the pins are detaching from the strip except only one pin. That means the end strip retains a small amount of induced magnetic field itself. That's why only one pin still attached with that end strip. It is explained in the BH curve as B. So still the magnetic field presence in the end strip. In the absence of external magnetic field. So in the graph B represents that retentivity. From the BH curve if the H decreases B also decreases but not in linear. At B it has some value the induction value it has but applied magnetic field or external magnetic field H is 0. So in the absence of H B has some value this is called retentivity. In order to remove the retained magnetic field B in the end strip the reverse magnetic field is applied that means just change the pole. So far north pole is facing the end strip. Now the south pole is approaching the end strip. See the reverse magnetic field H is ready. So when it is approaching towards the end strip the pin is detached that means B is disappeared. By applying reverse magnetic field, the retained magnetic field is removed. This is called coercivity. This is explained in BH curve as C. C is nothing but coercivity. So when the external magnetic field is applied in the reverse direction is increases but B value is decreased. At point C H has some reverse value when the internal magnetic field B is 0 that particular point is called coercivity. When the bar magnet touches the ion strip, now ion strip will become a magnet. So the magnetic field is developed by the ion strip. Now the bar magnet is touching the ion strip so that it has <coughs> magnetic field. Due to magnetic movement, it will become a magnet and reached the maximum magnetic induction. See all the pins are attracted by the strip. This is called saturation in reverse magnetic field. This is explained in the big H curve as D. So when the external magnetic field increases in reverse magnetic field, B also increases. At D, H is maximum, B also maximum. This point is called reverse saturation. Now, the bar magnet is moving away from the end strip. The pins are detaching from the end strip, but except only one. That means ion strip retains a small amount of induced magnetic field 
itself. It is represented in the BH curve as E. So, the external magnetic field or applied magnetic field is decreased in reverse magnetic field, B also decreases, but not in linear. So, in the absence of external magnetic field H, B has some values. This is called reverse retentivity. In order to remove the retained magnetic field B in the ion strip, the reverse magnetic field is applied. That means, change the pole. So far, south pole is facing the ion strip. Now, north pole is approaching the ion strip. See, the reverse magnetic field is applied, north is facing towards the B. When it is approaching the ion strip, the pin is detached, that means B is disappeared. Now, the ion strip has no magnetic power, but when it is touching, the magnetic field is increased. By applying reverse magnetic field, the retained magnetic field B is removed. This is called coercivity in the reverse magnetic field. It is expressed in the pH curve as F. Reverse applied magnetic field H increases, B decreases. At F, B is equal to 0, but H has some reverse value. This is called reverse coercivity. Since it is touching that ion strip, now the ion strip is magnetized. Now, the bar magnet is touching the ion strip due to magnetic movement, it will become a magnet and reach the maximum magnetic induction. See, all the pins are attracted by this strip. This is called a saturation in reverse magnetic field A. AFA psych process H increases, B also increases linearly. At A, H is maximum, B also maximum. This is called a saturation. So, it comes to the origin position A. Thus, we are getting a loop. That loop is drawn by taking H along x axis, B along y axis the curve obtained in the graph is called as magnetic hysteresis loop. Starts from O to A, A to B, B to C, C to D and D to E, E to F and F to A. So, O to A, then reaching saturation, it is retentivity, coercivity and reverse saturation, reverse retentivity, reverse coercivity and saturation. In this way, it, we are getting hysteresis loop. So, from the R mark, we can come to conclude that the hysteresis loop is A, B, C, D, E, F, A. Here, A is saturation, B is retentivity. C is coercivity, then D is reverse saturation, E is reverse retentivity, F is reverse coercivity. From the stresses loop, the area of the loop is proportional to energy loss in rotating the magnetic domains. 
that means if area of the loop is small then energy loss is small if area of the loop is large then energy loss is large energy loss appears in the form of heat energy soft type or hot type in other words temporary or permanent magnet can be identified using this hysteresis loop next we are coming to the applications of the hysteresis loop or the difference between permanent magnet and temporary magnet this is bh curve is a large retentivity in case of permanent magnet it is a large retentivity and large coercivity in case of temporary magnets it has also large retentivity but it has less coercivity so large retentivity and low coercivity are needed in temporary magnets whereas in permanent magnets large retentivity and large coercivity are needed you see the area of the loop the area of the loop in the permanent magnet is so large in case of a temporary magnet area of the loop is small the example of permanent magnet is bar magnet made up of hard iron in case of temporary magnet the example is electromagnet is made up of soft iron thank you